Hey guys, in this video I want to show you some new features for the Bricks widget creator. One feature is the repeater field. With uh, this field you can create a set of elements that follow your instructions. For example, this is very often used for elements like sliders or cards. We will take a closer look at the for loop, which can now be used. For loops are very important when we think about to repeat or to iterate some data. Then I'm very happy to show you the new PHP functions feature. The development is always better when you separate the logic from the UI. Now we have a new tab functions available. There you can outsource the element logic and connect it to the view with a simple template syntax. Then we have a new variable type to output variables with echo in the browser. Let's start with a small example. We have an HTML area that is very clean. We have some CSS code and the result is a nice box with some hover effects. As you can see the heading is dynamic, so we can edit the text with the Bricks Builder. Now we would like to repeat this box and create it in a repeater field. I will show you how easy it is to do this. First we want to create a new repeater field. The only field we need for our example is a text field. Let's make it simple. Then we create some data for the new created field. Let's use the for loop to see what you can do with it. So the variable we want to loop is the cards variable. So re replace this value. And then we get a single variable we want to name this card. And now inside the for each block we have access to this card variable. To demonstrate this we want to simply echo the text of our card. And here you see the new variable type echo. We save this. Let's take a look on the front end. And yeah, the for loop works. Great. So we can move the elements now to the right place. Let's see what happens in the front end. How great is this? It works and we see two elements because we created two uh, repeater field elements. And when we add some other elements, we see that everything works. Now we want to separate the logic from the UI. So this output, we want to move it to a PHP function. Let's create a function for this. We give the function a name, get card text and, and there we need the data from the variable card. We can pass this as param. And all we want to achieve with this function is to return the card text. But you know it's always a good practice to check if this variable, if this data really exists.
And if the data is empty, we won't just do return no title. How we can connect this function now to the front end or to the view tab? That's very easy. Let's take a look to the new functions feature. That's it. We need the right function name here. In our case, it is get card text and the param informations. In this case, we need the card data. Let's check the result. Nothing happens and that's good because it works. Let's try to extend this function and let's add some yeah, additional very basic logic. For example, we, call, uh, we could use, use also the index of this for loop. So the index of the element. And we can use this index um, for our logic and in this case for the string output. And this is the way to yeah, get the index information. This is just PHP code. And here I add the second param. And great, it works. The index appears. This was a very basic and easy tutorial on what you can do with the new features. You can find more information about it in the documentation. I hope you guys do like it and I wish you a lot of fun with your development. See you.